Well, we want to bring Trisha, our sponsor. Is Trisha there? Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi, Trisha. Oh, where Hi. are you? You look like you're on the farm or something. Where are you? I'm on the farm. No, I'm in our office in New York. Um, this is our showroom. So we're at 537th Avenue. Wow. Wow. That's the only way I get to New York these days is on TV or on the internet. And then you well, actually we wanted, to here, we wanted to do it a little differently by having it in our showroom and not sitting in front of our laptop. Nice, nice. And I see that you're wearing denim, so that's appropriate. That's good. Of course, wearing my Tencel denim. This one is actually from our last collection that we did, hardware. Um, so, you know, there's always new opportunities to wear denim. We're glad that you guys have King Pin Splash and then you continue to keep the denim community connected during this time. So you have, there's three things that I have for you right now. The first thing is you have, you're gonna have a little surprise for our viewers today, right? Right out, coming up. A little surprise. I, I actually think it's a big surprise because it's something we've been working on for a couple of years. Um, Andrew, you know our, our secret because it was a part of putting this together. Um, and we're really excited to launch a new fiber innovation. Right. Uh, so yes, that's that's one of our uh, topics today. And then the second one that you wanted to talk about is, is the exchange, is the Kingpin's exchange in your pavilion. Yes, the Kingpin Exchange Pavilion. We we're really excited to have that up and running actually last month. Um, and think it's a wonderful way to stay connected 24-7. We have about 25 denim mills using Tencel denim on our pavilion. And I have to say, I really love the design. It's a great place to go for more information and connecting to denim mills and our partners. Cool. And then the last thing that I had for you is I wanted to talk about the industry collaboration. Yes. Well, you know, we do this a lot at Tencel because we're, we're only at the beginning. So we're only the fiber and we're really nothing without our collaborative partners um, in order to make our fabric come together and, and have garments. So collaboration is so important to us. And during this time, we've worked with Navina uh, with NDL to come up with a capsule collection. So we're we're starting to give a little bit of information about that. And we'll, we should have it all together by April. Um, so there'll be some information happening tomorrow about uh, what we've been working on with Navina. Great. Great. Well, that's that's really all that I have, Vivian, do you have anything that you wanted to add to this or Trisha? No, we just want to thank Trisha to make, you know, the this show possible. Lensing have been big support for us. And I think there's going to be a lot of things that um, Trisha want to tell us. So mm -hmm. Trisha, want, do you want to take it from here? Yeah, sure. Thank you. And thanks you, Vivian for all your work. And you you have, highlighted you have, everyone else. And, and we really want to thank you also for all your work and putting everything together. And you have four minutes and 30 seconds extra to play with. <laughs> four minutes and 30 seconds extra. Awesome. That's great. That's great. So I want to take you a little bit into our showroom here uh, today and want to talk to you um, about our innovation because it's not every day that we have a new innovation that comes into the market. And I mean a true innovation. We're always taking little steps here and there. Um, and today we, we get together at Kingpins because of our love of denim. Right? And all that goes into denim, we have to really consider it's about the trees that go in from Tencel, it's the cotton and the farmers that work so hard, the spinning, the dyeing of yarn, weaving, designing, washing, all of this goes into denim. And what defines denim is really the indigo. But when you think about it, there's so many steps that are involved, the process that's involved to apply indigo to the yarn and the chemistry that is involved for application. And ironically, what we do in the denim industry is to remove that same indigo that took so many steps to apply and so much chemistry. Today, we look at innovation, technology, and lowering our environmental footprint. Several years ago, the Tencel denim team, Michael Kinema, Haley Osterk, and myself, we started to question why do we do things the way we always have been? And why are there so many steps to applying indigo to, to yarns? How can we lower our environmental impact? And how can we make a product that addresses the needs of other markets? 
And that leads us to introduce to you today, Tencel Modal with Indigo Color Technology. This is bringing innovation to indigo application because we are adding the indigo pigment into the spinning mass of the fiber and we can combine this process and still have a product with real wash effects and rub fastness. To us, this is indigo from the inside out. So now we're gonna play a short video that was produced by our friends at Endrime to tell you a little bit more about this innovation and then I'll highlight some of the garments and tell you more of the benefits of using Tencel Modal with Indigo Color Technology. If you could run the video. Hi, I'm Tencel Denim Mini Jean. Welcome to Lensing Austria. I am here to tell you about the new project from Lensing, our Tencel model with Indigo technology. In order for leading textile and apparel companies to stay relevant in today's market, there is a need to focus on innovation in environmental issues. In the denim community, developments are often new ideas that take into account the history and heritage of the industry. In this case, the Lensing denim team have focused their minds on Indigo, a new chapter in the story of blue gold. Indigo is an ancient dye used by many civilizations, including Mayan, Egyptian, Japanese and Indian cultures. When indigo became a commodity, it started its journey via the earliest trade routes, finding its way to Greece and Rome around 300 BC. The Greeks named the blue pigment indicon, meaning from India, and at that time it was considered a luxury item. Later, it attracted the name blue gold due to the demand as a high-value trading commodity. Indicon became indigo in English. The ongoing sustainability debates around indigo involve dye manufacture, dye chemistry and dye application. And it's dye application which is the focus of the new lensing development. Outside to in, conventional indigo dyeing. Regardless if indigo is extracted from plants or produced synthetically, the principle of dyeing indigo has never changed. The main application area for indigo lies in the continuous dyeing of warp yarn for the production of denim fabrics. The indigo is a water-insoluble vat dye, which is converted to its water-soluble, fiber-affinitive form by a reduction process. It's well known that dyeing denim with indigo is a wasteful process when it comes to the use of water, energy and chemicals. The problematic use of potentially hazardous reducing agents that are needed to make indigo soluble in water so that it can adhere to the yarns is also well known. Due to the complexities of indigo dyeing, which include repeated dyeing on large lines, post-rinsing, oxidation and drying time, there is an extensive use of resources. The challenge throughout the indigo dyeing process is to maintain a constant liquor pH by balancing the concentration of indigo, caustic and hydrosulfite. Other chemistries being used may include deaerating and wetting agents, dispersing agents, complexing agents, fixing agents and rebeaming aids. As you can imagine, all this uses significant amounts of water, chemicals and energy, as well as producing major amounts of effluent. Inside to out. Tencel Model with Indigo Technology. Lensing's new development. In order to manufacture a wood-based cellulosic fiber, it is necessary to convert wood pulp from a solid into a liquid, called the dope, in order to have the ability to shape it back into a solid filament or fiber. Dope dyeing is a production technique to color fibers by adding colored pigment to the liquid polymer solution, thus ensuring entrapment in the structure of the fiber. Tencel Modal with Indigo Technology is produced by preparing the Modal spinning solution, preparing the indigo pigment in the oxidized form, adding the indigo pigment to the Modal spinning solution, and extruding the solution into a coagulation bath according to a Modal spinning process. As a result of applying indigo via this technique compared with other conventional indigo dyeing, Tencel Modal with Indigo Technology typically has a smaller carbon footprint and offers significant savings of water, chemicals, and energy while at the same time producing less waste. Resource savings will vary depending on specific operating parameters. However, 
compared to typical conventional dyeing with either powdered indigo or pre-reduced liquid indigo, the following savings were achieved. 99% water saving, 80% less chemicals, 99% electricity saving, 99% reduction on water saving, and 100% saving on heat energy. Aniline has been the subject of recent debate within denim circles, as it is a precursor chemical for synthetic indigo production, and is present as an impurity in both indigo powder and pre-reduced indigo solutions. However, this chemical is starting to feature within the restricted substance lists, RSLs, of some major clothing brands and retailers. Strict limits on aniline are now also included in standards by Ocotex and BlueSign, and the EU and the US EPA are increasing their scrutiny of this chemical. In recognition of this, Lensing commissioned Dystar to produce a pigment in order to meet these strict limits. So here it is, Tencel Modal with Indigo technology from the inside out. An innovative indigo application with significant reductions in water, chemical, energy and effluent, while providing the denim appearance and washdown effects you love. So this is Future of Indigo. I'm going to show you how we do this. So we take trees, which we then make into pulp. And then what we do is we add the indigo pigment into the spinning mass. And then we extrude the fiber in order to have the indigo pigment inside the fiber. So what are the benefits of adding indigo into the fiber? Well, you have huge resource savings. So we have 99% savings for water, 80% savings for chemicals, and 99% savings for energy. And this is in comparison to traditional rope dyed indigo yarn. So I think, you know, everyone's looking for how we can lower our environmental footprint, especially related to water. So this innovation is a great solution for that. Additionally, you can have real wash effects. So at commercial laundry stage, you actually can remove the indigo pigment. So this is a little different from how we normally think about indigo when we apply it from the inside out, but you can still remove the indigo pigment. Um, and we did testing on traditional laundry methods as well as modern methods like ozone and laser. But what happens is when the consumer washes the garment, there is no additional loss of indigo. So there is rough fastness, so you don't have crocking issues. Now this can be great for applications in knitwear where there's been challenges around uh, crocking issues of the indigo in the production machines. So you have resource savings, you have real wash effects, and you have rough fastness. Now, innovation never happens in a bubble, and you really need partners in order to collaborate and develop innovations. And through this process, we did work with some of our partners who have already been working with our spun dye fibers. So we worked with Cone Denim. So the team, Alan, Caitlin, Perrette, and Kara, were a part of this innovation. Uh, this garment here is actually from Cone, and it's a blend with hemp. We also worked with uh, Candiani in Italy. So Alberto was in his kitchen coming up with new ideas. And this garment here is from Candiani. And you can also see all the wash effects that you can create with Tencel Modal with Indigo Color technology. And our other partner that we worked with, and we've worked with this partner for many years, and that's Adriano Goldschmidt and the House of Gold. So Adriano brought together his collaborative partners in order to develop fabrics that are woven, circular knits, as well as flat knits. So for wovens, we worked with blue diamond, for circular knits with In The Loop, and for flat knits, we worked with Shimaseki. Uh, Adriano also developed a capsule collection for us called Seed of Joy. And that capsule collection used uh, yarns from Crayfill and laundry finishing was done with Tonella. So there, it definitely takes quite a few companies in order to come with it, up with an innovation like this and really test it in the market. Now we open this innovation to the market for further development. And I can't wait to see what you come up with. 
You can blend, you can spin, you can layer other technologies with tensile modal with indigo color technology. Just thinking about indigo application differently will lead us to think of new markets for denim. I leave it to you. Do you want to look at indigo from the inside out? And if you'd like more information, you can visit us at denim at lensing.com. You can also find out more information on Carbs in Blue, our blog, or on tencel.com. And if you'd like to, you can join us tomorrow. We'll be back to go through our Seed of Joy capsule collection with Adriano Goldschmidt. We'll highlight some of the garments that he developed and tell you a little bit more of some of his thought process behind the developments and the designs. And I know that together we can build back better with an even lower environmental impact. So thank you very much and uh, enjoy the rest of Kingpin Splash. Thank you, Trisha. Thank you for your introduction and then the great.